Tonight, the men known as the West Memphis Three say justice has still not been served here in Arkansas. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Craig O'Neill. Today in Crittenden County, their lawyers tried to take a new step toward clearing their names, but a judge did not rule in their favor. And TGV 11's Ashley Godwin was in that courtroom today and tells us what happened. Ashley? Yeah, Craig, these men have maintained they are innocent for decades now, even through serving time in a prison after they say they were wrongfully convicted of killing three young boys. Today, they traveled to Arkansas to try to prove their innocence once again, but the judge says in this case, the law is not on their side. You know, extreme disappointment because I really wasn't expecting it. I think the state missed an opportunity to solve this case. Damian Eccles and Jason Baldwin returned to West Memphis Thursday to plead their innocence once again. Eccles' legal team and the Crittenden County prosecutor argued in front of a judge for their right to test additional DNA evidence on ligatures that were bound to the three boys who were found dead in 1993. But one hurdle stood in the way of that, the type of petition that was filed. Eccles' lawyer, Patrick Benka, filed a habeas corpus petition, which says the petitioner must be in custody of the state. And Judge Tanya Alexander ruled that she is denying the petition based on the fact that Eccles is not behind bars. But her concern seems to be with the fact that the legislature is not passing laws that are just that would allow um, Damien and others to be able to actually find themselves in a situation to be completely exonerated, even though they've been released from custody. But the fight isn't over for the West Memphis Three. Eccles' team plans to appeal the decision, and Baldwin says he plans to discuss so. alternatives with his lawyers. There's a prosecutor in there who knows that all of that DNA is tightened in every single one of those ligatures that was attached to those boys and is not going to do anything to find out what's in there. We have a way in our hands where they can see who killed those children and they're refusing to do anything about it. To test the evidence, to find who committed this crime, not only solves the case, but it begins real healing for us and all of our families. The judge told the lawyers at the end of the hearing today if they wanted to move this case forward, they needed to talk to legislators about changing the law and that then she would follow the law to grant them the right to test the evidence.